Thank you, everybody. And Brianna, thank you very much for that very generous introduction. Um, I want to thank Brianna, and I want to thank her uh, classmates who are actually graduates now. Uh, Winnie, you've already met, and John Dorian. Those three students have harnessed their artistic talents and have created uh, items that are being offered in our live auction, which you'll hear more about in a few minutes. Uh, while I'm in the thank you mode, I would like to uh, recognize my hosts and my family. I won't ask you to stand, but I will ask you to wave. If you don't wave, if you don't wave I'm going to ask you to stand. First, I'd like to thank my hosts from Florida Healthcare Plans, Missy Holden and her colleagues, who generously sponsored our table and allowed my wife to be the sit And now, if you'll bear with me, I'd like to introduce my family, my wife, to whom I owe so very much, Mary Kay Gelati. She's beautiful, and I'm often asked how did I ever get married to Mary Kay, and I just say I used to be a lot better looking. <laughs> Mary Kay and I are very fortunate to have our sons here tonight and their wives, Jordan and Summer Gelati. James and Mary Gelati. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law, Tracy and Betsy Minor, and my dear friends Frank and Mary Bruno, who sponsored the table and allowed my family to camp out. <laughs> well, as for this award, I am flattered and humbled to receive it. I tried to talk Kelly Harris out of it, but as we are all learning, once she makes up her mind, she puts her mind to something, she sees it through. So, here I am. <coughs> Being on stage is relatively new territory for me. Usually I'm backstage telling people what to do. But tonight, I am on stage and everybody's telling me what to do. I'll try to comply. I am relatively new to the Conference Center for the Blind. I was introduced to Kelly Harris by Donald Doudna who's a board member of the Community Foundation, which is a division of our United Way. And by the way, we are honored to uh, have the chairman of the Community Foundation with us tonight, and he is Preston Root. Preston? Many of you know Preston is an outstanding business leader and uh, businessman, volunteer, and philanthropist philanthropist, and we really appreciate him being here tonight. Uh, other uh, members of the leadership of the Community Foundation with us tonight, Bill Navarro and Sam Willett. At any rate, back to Donald Doudna. Donald had met Kelly, uh, who had just been recruited to be our president and CEO. And he thought that she was an outstanding leader, and he called me and asked me if I would make a point to meet her, which I did. And I, too, found Kelly to be a very strong leader with incredible resolve and resilience. In the year since she's arrived, actually it's a year and a day, right, Kelly? Uh, she has tackled many, many predictable issues, but she's also tackled as many unpredictable issues, things that just popped up, but still she's never wavered and this really is not a job for Kelly, this is a mission. So we're very fortunate to have her. At any rate, soon enough, uh, I had volunteered to help on a project last fall. And we got to know each other a little bit, but then I was off for a two month uh, sabbatical. During my sabbatical, I found myself thinking about the conference center and the incredible work, the incredible work that the professional staff does in working with the blind and low vision uh, adults who have additional disabilities. The fact that the students and professional staff can work together to help the students achieve independence, I find truly remarkable. That is teamwork with a capital T. Think about it. 
blind or low vision plus additional disabilities and still learning to navigate the Conklin Center campus, a seven acre campus, learning to get around the community safely and confidently, developing techniques to shop and maintain an apartment, learning to cook, developing job skills, getting a job, earning money, managing household finances and developing a budget. What the students and professional staff are able to accomplish is nothing short of miraculous. And Helen Keller set the bar pretty darn high when it comes to miraculous. The work of our staff and the, comp and the accomplishments of our students and graduates really should be front page news. But what we have found is that the community does not really know the extent or the depth of the good work that is done at the Conklin Center every day. And we are working on that with marketing materials, with community involvement, with your involvement, with the help of Alliance Clubs, volunteers, donors, friends of the Conklin Center, uh, with Kelly going to Tallahassee and Washington to meet with legislators. I bet you didn't know Kelly worked at the White House for a while, so she knows her way around Capitol Hill pretty well. Uh, and under her leadership, the Conklin Center is beginning to attract a lot of attention here in the community, which is very helpful. We have been told that the Conklin Center is the only organization of its kind in the nation and possibly in the world, and it's right here in our backyard. There's so much to be proud of and so much potential, and that's what keeps the adrenaline flowing. That's what keeps the ideas coming. That's what keeps the collaboration increasing. Your being here tonight underscores the noble work of the Conklin Center, its students, its graduates, and its incredible staff. So in conclusion, my message is simple, and that is I am honored to be a part of your team. I thank you for this honor, and I look forward to 2020 and the promise it holds. Thank you all very much. For